The man dubbed the Manoa Rapist was released today after serving more than 40 years in prison. Officials say there are strict rules and supervision he must follow while out on parole. Christy Tomashiro has more. In the 1980s, John Freudenberg was an honor student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. But at 23 years old, he was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after admitting to raping or attempting to rape 16 women. Freudenberg, who was granted parole in September, is now a free man, released from Halava Correctional Facility Thursday morning. He admitted to, uh, to his crimes. Uh, got the highest possible sentence and did probably one of the longest terms of imprisonment of anyone in the state of Hawaii. Freudenberg's attorney says in the last 40 years, he hasn't picked up a single flag for misconduct. He also completed the sex offender treatment program four times and even became a mentor to other inmates. But one of Freudenberg's victims tells me she's still haunted by the assault and doesn't believe he's changed. So these classes that he's been taking all these decades, I believe, have not been beneficial for him for this type of offender. I'm really concerned about public safety and I don't want anybody to have to go through what I did. The Hawaii Paroling Authority says Freudenberg will have to follow strict policies on the outside. That includes the highest level of supervision under its sex offender supervision units. He's going to be on electronic monitor. He's going to be drug tested. He's going to be under uh, supervision. I suspect he'll be doing check-ins at least weekly, if not multiple times during the week. The paroling authority adds Freudenberg will also have a curfew. His attorney says he hopes to find work as an electrician and will be living in a halfway house. He was excited, at the same time um, very cautious. He knows that he's a subject of concern in the community. Uh, he knows that he, there are people that are still upset with him. And he understands that, respects that, so he's going to make every effort to, uh, to be in compliance. The state attorney general has a website for people to look up sex offenders living in their area. There's also the Hawaii Sex Offender Search mobile app. Chrissy Tomashiro, K2 News, working for Hawaii.